So this week, I've got something that's gonna help you with your chipping, your putting, your iron play, your driving, every part of the game. And if you don't have this thing in, it can literally ruin your goal swing. No matter how good your backswing is, your downswing is, it will spoil your entire swing. It did for my dad, we were away for a few days, it was spoiling his chipping. Um, a, a friend of mine, Mark, was giving a session with on the range. It was really sp uh, spawning his impact with his ball striking, with his irons. But once we added this in, it was transformative. And I'm going to share with you what that is because it's super, super helpful and very, very important. Now, before I get into the lesson, look, if you're new to the channel, it's one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, I've got a free download or practice guide in the description box below so you never have to remember a thing. And what's a special bonus this week, I've added the ability for you to post your swings and maybe an audio or a comment all on dannymore.com in this practice plan so I can try and help you even more. So whether you're looking at adding distance to your driver, improving the contact with your irons or just improving your shots around the green, just this is going to be super super helpful. So um, let me give you uh, an example with my dad this week. So my dad, I've been away for a few days, my dad's struggling with, been struggling with his chipping and one of the major things that he lacked was consistency of strike and the thing that was getting in the way was this lack of impulse what do i mean by that well when you throw a ball there's an impulse with your arm if you look at my here if i throw a ball here can you see that there's an impulse i don't throw a ball to you going like this this would be no impulse ball wouldn't get anywhere yeah you have to have some impulse my dad didn't have that. He was too controlled. He's trying hard to strike it. The second thing, you don't just have impulse in your arm, you also have it in your body. Can you see this? So when you throw a ball, there's a gentle impulse. You don't throw a ball with a stiff body doing this. You have it here. And the aim in golf is to time those impulses up. They're gonna provide you with power. They're gonna provide you with strike. So what I did with my dad is I joked with him. I said, look, look, you look like this at the moment, dad. You won't throw a ball like this. And, and then he says, okay, no problem. So then he starts to turn his body like this. No, 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 dad. You've got to get the impulse. Your body works, look up to provide space for the arm to sling through. So we just got him with his short game, hitting a few shots, literally getting this feeling of swinging almost like he was throwing a ball and getting the club dropping down and he'd get the drop bit but then he'd stay down with his body i said no dad you've got to get the body look working up through the shot have some impulse so once he did that i didn't, I didn't care what was going on with the club face at this stage all i did was get him focusing on the feeling of the club dropping down and the body just adding a little bit more impulse to the shot so i've got a seven iron here but all i did with him is just small swings here just creating some impulse and naturally the flow and the strike started to come yes we needed to do some work on his club face but the consistency of strike went up so another student mark was struggling with his ball striking with his irons and we said well how do we add his impulse in because what he was doing here is, is he was getting this kind of flicky motion through the impact area here and there was no impulse with the body and when you don't have a great impulse with the body moving out of the way you're forced to get their wrists working and they start to get flicky or you get trapped inside blocking it way out to the right so and needed him to kind of feel it. Now, he needed a drill because just by talking about it didn't really work. So what I did was I said, look, I got him doing a similar exercise to my dad, just throwing a ball, getting explaining the impulse motion. But I also said, just grab an alignment stick or something similar, okay? Old garden cane. And just put it on the ground here just for a second, okay? And what I want you to do here is I don't want you to just, if you don't do, if you do this, look, there's no space. I can't, everything's crumbling. How many times do you see people chicken winging it here? Well, I want him to do is can, literally create some whip with the um, alignment stick and stand up. Create some impulse with the body going through. Remember, this is a guy who couldn't get any form of compression. If you want to strike a ball beautifully, you've got to have the handle forward naturally. But he wasn't doing that because he was doing this. As soon as he started to get some space, look for the hands to come through. This lead shoulder pulled the club round, naturally keeps the shaft lean forward on its own. And hey, presto, he got this beautiful extension. Now we started off, I said, Mark, with this, we're going to do some small swings where we're going to set the club up here. So I got him to literally set his arm like this, not like this, or lifting up, just literally set his trail arm 
to here and then from there small swings I said right just imagine just letting the club fall down to the ground and I want you to feel the impulse of you getting out of the way to here that's all I want you to do one two got him set small little swings just to here unbelievably compressed strike but he didn't get that straight away you know he need, need to learn to get the timing of this okay and the timing what I mean by timing is this is he needed to get the impulse timed up so notice this this would be untimed where the hands go and leave the body behind or I try and get the hips out of the way I see this a lot of people then the hands come in that's not timed you're literally like throwing a ball there's a connection there's a timing with this so we start that's why we started small little set of the wrist here and feel the impulse can you see how all this is beautifully timed together I even when he when a couple of times when he did this he would go forward a little bit well there's no impulse so I actually got him I actually use Leo as an example here I pushed him away from the target whilst allowing the club to follow through you've got to resist that sensation on the way through this is how you get that kind of impulse through that golf ball so now you have the feel of what it is from a very small action how do you expand that to the bigger swings the bigger with your irons and your driver and I'm going to show you a little bonus in a second on the putting green and how it can transform putting too but let's look at the full swing so because you know what the destination is now from here to here you're more equipped the body's more equipped to know exactly what to do when it's at the top of the swing now my dad's a great example, um, you know, he slices the ball uh, now and then, and one of the reasons why he slices it, like a lot of players, he gets to the top of the swing, and he spins out of the shot with his torso here, like this. Well, if you look at that natural motion, that is never going to achieve the position and the feeling that we just had a minute ago of this, is it? Not possible. So you're less likely to do these kind of things once you know that the actual destination point is supposed to feel like this. So when you're here now, you go, okay, I know that's the feeling I want to get there. I can't get impulse off my back foot. It's not possible, yeah? So now you've got the destination, you can start to gradually build the swing up bit by bit and start to apply it to the bigger swings. Now with driver, it's all about really starting to let go with this motion, no control, okay? So see if you can spot this in my driver swing. So learn the feeling, gradually build it up, and now let's have a quick look at how this can also transform your putting. So let's finish off with putting. Impulse in putting can be super helpful and really help you hold a lot more putts. So what is an impulse? Well, I see too many golfers when they're putting, they are moving. The putter's also just one pace. It's too slow. There isn't a impulse. Now we don't want the level of movement that you have obviously in a power shot, but you still need impulse. And I want you to accelerate to the ball. I don't want you to go like this, try and go through the ball. With no impulse, you're gonna be so inconsistent. So you'll see with the best putters, look at the, the Cameron Smiths of the world. They literally have a length of backswing that is actually slightly longer than their follow through because there's a impulse to the shot, okay? They are literally impacting the golf ball in a way that's providing a solid, solid strike. A great drill for you to do this is to grab a couple of tee pegs, okay, line them up to the hole here, put them in the ground, and all you're doing is put a ball just in front. And what I'm gonna do here is, is I've clearly, I've really reduced the length of the follow through. Way too much, yes. But the, what this is aimed at doing is, is I want you to accelerate to the ball. Don't accelerate so there's no impulse. This is an acceleration, okay? So I'm gonna get myself set and I'm gonna try and accelerate to the ball, okay? Now, it's just a resistance. All you're doing is you're tapping it in such a way to provide one, two, a positive motion to this, oh, almost, to the stroke, as opposed to this type of motion, where it all starts to look smooth, but there's no impulse to that, and then, oh, it's too short, then you're trying to lunge at it and get it a little bit longer, okay? So, impulse, add it to every single one of your golf clubs in your bag, and you're gonna make a massive, massive difference. Start really small, learn the feel, then start to take that feel, 
give that backswing a destination to go to and you're going to start to see every single club in your bag improving nothing works without it so i hope you enjoy this video remember look it all happens right now on dannymore.com so check over onto my website download the free practice guide get involved with the discussion that we're having on there post your swings get involved with the audio Links in the description box below. Of course, look, check this video out here because it complements this one very, very well. I'll see you next week. Have a great golfing week.